Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Self accountability. What have you made for your religion, world, and homeland? All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Truly, man is a clear witness against himself. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Self-accountability is the sustenance of the pious people and the way of salvation in the Day of Judgment. The Almighty Allah has sworn in the Quran with the noble soul that often blames a person and holds him accountable. Allah said, by a self-reapproaching soul, a prophet, peace be upon him, Call people to hold themselves accountable. He told us that the most wise among the believers is the one who always remembers death and works for the hereafter. When our Prophet, peace be upon him, when our Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked which one among believers is the wisest, he said, the one who remembered death the most and the best preparing for it. Those are the wisest. Umar ibn Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, hold your, he said, hold yourselves accountable before you held accountable and evaluate yourself before you are evaluated and prepare yourself for the day when you will be brought to the judgment and none of your secrets will remain hidden. If a person will surely meet his Lord Almighty, who will hold him accountable and ask him about everything, then he has to hold himself accountable before being held accountable on that day. The Almighty Allah said, and hold them for, for questioning. Allah also said, the record of their deeds will laid upon, open, will laid open, and you will see the guilty at what they contain, saying, all to us. What a record this is. It does not leave any deed. It does not leave any deed small or large. And accounted for. They will find everything they ever did laid in front of them. Your Lord will not be unjust to anyone. Now the verse Almighty Allah said, Indeed, ears, eyes, and heart you will be questioned. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, There will be none among you but will be taught to Allah on the day of resurrection, without there being an interpreter between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will look and see nothing ahead of him. And then he will look again for a second time in front of him and the hellfire will confront him so whoever among you can save himself from the fire should do so even with one half of a date to give in a charity. A wise person is the one. A wise person is the one who adheres to holding himself accountable all the time and attain piety as a provision for the day of judgment. The Almighty Allah said, Provide well for yourself the best provision to be mindful of Allah. Allah also said, Beware of a day. Beware of a day when you will be returned to Allah. Every soul will be bathed in full for what it has earned, and no one will be wronged. Allah also said, You who believe, be mindful of Allah. And let every soul consider carefully what is what it sends ahead for tomorrow. Be mindful of Allah, for Allah is well aware of everything you do. Do not like do not be like those who forget Allah, so Allah causes them to forget their own soul. They are the disobedient ones. Nikafir, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, This means hold yourself accountable before you held accountable in the hereafter and consider 
that which you have prepared for the day of judgment and being summed before your Lord. Be aware that your Lord is all aware of your actions and condition. And there is nothing you did what is what is you did that is unknown for him. It is by this accountability the soul elevate the highest degree and the perfect manners. The Almighty Allah sent the one who purifies his soul succeed and the one who corrupts it fails. Al Hassan al Basri, may Allah have a mercy on him, said, A slave of Allah will remain in a good state as long as he remain the warner of himself his and his concern is held himself accountable. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet وسلم, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that holding oneself accountable is not limited to investigating what a person has done for the hereafter, including prayer, fasting, zakah, hajj, etc. Rather, this concept extends to investigate what a person has done for the universe and what he has provided for his family, his country, and humanity in terms of useful knowledge and serious work. A wise person is the one who developed the universe through his religion and served his homeland whenever it is in need for him. A prophet, peace be upon him, lasted the pillars of Islam when saying, Islam built upon five pillars. The testimony that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger, the reform of prayer, giving zakah, fasting during the month of Ramadan, and performing hajj for someone who can afford it. However, the concept of worship is much broader than this. Kindness to parents and providing for them are acts of worship. Lawful earning is an act of worship. Honesty is an act of worship. Perfecting one's work is an act of worship. Developing the universe is an act of worship. And fulfilling people's needs and pr protecting them from harm. Allah the Almighty said, It was He who put you into being from the earth and assigned you to develop it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, to leave your inheritors, inheritors rich, rich is better than to leave them poor and begging from people. Whatever you spend will be considered a charity for you, even a mouthful of food you put in the mouth of your wife. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, when a Muslim plants a tree, whatever is eaten from it by human bird or animal is considered charity from it's considered charity how much do we need to constantly hold ourselves accountable repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have sincere determination to reform ourselves our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said Allah's exalted will continue to stretch his hand in the night so that the sinner of the day may repent and continue to stretch his hand in the daytime, so the sinner of the night may repent until the sun rises from the west. May Allah protect our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the world. Thank you.